Hello and welcome to the last day of Suffolk here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we've been here all week, we've spoken to some industry leaders, we've spoken to the soft community as well as US SOCOM. One of those people that we spoke to was James Gertz. He's the acquisition executive for US SOCOM. He told us about some of the aims for his department. Uh, so I've got the honor of uh, developing all the technology, all the equipment and uh, contracting for all of us, US Special Forces. And so, you know, our aim is always to be on the edge of technology, making sure we give our operators all the tools we can so he or she can be successful on the dangerous missions they're conducting all around the world. So looking on the show floor here, some of the key technologies that we've seen and we, we've focused on as well this week is, is C4I, particularly communications and, and making sure that special operations forces can communicate, particularly in austere environments where there's no infrastructure. Another technology is unmanned vehicles, and that's in all domains, but particularly in the aerial domain. Uh, unmanned vehicles are given that persistent reconnaissance and intelligence capability. Uh, we've seen a few around the show floor, uh, and we know that that's going to be an important capability going forward. In fact, we spoke to the PEO of fixed wing uh, capabilities for US SOCOM, and he told us a little bit more about this. Well, absolutely, unmanned systems are, are important to our office. We have, uh, we, we have uh, UAVs from quadcopters all the way up to the MQ-9 Reapers, so a uh, very d diverse set of capabilities. Uh, in particular, the Reaper is uh, is an, an exquisite uh, fine, fix, but also finished capability all on a single platform. And uh, so our soft modifications continue to put advanced weaponry, advanced sensors on there uh, to make them uh, you know, better at executing their mission. Another interesting area is, is personal weapons, rifles in particular. Uh, there's been some technology on the show floor, including uh, attachments, laser aiming devices, things like that. There's also a lot of talk about caliber changes and potentially going into something like a 6.5 millimeter ammunition. Um, there's also cased ammunition on show and, and things like polymer rounds. There's definitely a future there. We actually spoke to the PO of, of Warrior Systems for SOCOM and he told us a little bit more about this. And so some of the things we're doing in our weapons portfolio, you know, we're looking at intermediate caliber, something in between a 5.56 and 7.62. And if we can tailor that with some of our polymer effort developments, you know, we're really excited about this, you know, in terms of precision engagement at greater ranges, you know, equivalent to a 7.62 capability, but now in a 5.56 form factor, as well as basic load, that's going to be a breakthrough for our operators. Of course, shows like this are about cooperation, industry coming together with the special operations community and sharing concepts, ideas, also technology. Cooperation is key for SOCOM. And that's something that James Gertz was telling us during our interview. So this is our venue every year where we bring the entire community together. So we bring in all of our operational commanders, we bring in uh, our senior leadership, we bring in industry, we bring in academia. We all get together, we talk about our problems, we look at potential solutions. And uh, you know, for these really complex, challenging problems, collaboration and all working together is really the key. And this provides us uh, a place like no other uh, to take, uh, take on those challenges. Well, as you can see, everyone's packing up, getting ready to leave now. It's uh, almost closing time. So we hope you enjoyed our coverage. It was great to be here in, in Tampa, Florida. We appreciate everyone's time for talking to us. And we hope to see you at the next show.